Hello and welcome everyone, this is Type V3 and it's Turtle Time. These are Playmates Basic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles based on the 2012 cartoon of the same name. Oh, and don't take that word basic as a detrimental comment because these toys are anything but. Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, and Michelangelo. The entire team of turtles are here and sporting a new yet familiar look. They've got all the basics, green skin, brown belts, and a specific colored headband to match each character. Their blank eyes and facial expressions make them look tough, but not so much so that they're perceived as scary. And that's probably my favorite thing about the overall design. They manage to strike the perfect balance of friendliness and fierceness. Gone is the gentle and doe-eyed look of the original cartoon, as is all the overwhelming testosterone and bravado of the 2003 series. More importantly, these turtles actually look like teenagers. Too many times, this bale of turtles has been depicted with adult proportioned bodies, and that just never sat well with me. But the good news doesn't stop there. In fact, the best thing about this set is that all four figures are unique. Playmates didn't cheapen the experience at all, and it shows because these just aren't four identical toys with head swaps. Everything about them is specific to the character. Whether it's the color of their skin, or the size of their limbs, or even down to the smallest scratches on their chest, there's a diverse range of differences here. It's not all perfect though, as I do have some small annoyances. Raph is a little too dark for my tastes. I think he looks a tad odd not being as bright as his brothers. And then there's his shell. I'm more than a little disappointed that he's the only one to have it painted in a different color. I would have loved to see the same amount of variation on the shell as with the rest of these figures. Articulations where things get interesting, so first we'll start by showing you all the joints. So, ball jointed head, not very good in range, but good side to side. Uh, ball hinge shoulders, so these are pretty good. Elbow joint and swivel, so that's nice, and a wrist swivel. Uh, ball hinged hips, so that's there a knee swivel as well as a joint. Now here's where things get interesting. That elbow joint, very limited. You get about maybe a 45 degree bend there. Not 90, 45 degree. Uh, same with the knee joint, very weak. And as, as good as this ball hinged shoulder is, the ball hinged hips, I, I'm not a fan of, really not a fan of. I just, I just don't like how I can't, I don't know, kick out his feet sideways as well as point them up. They should have just made this a ball joint, especially since it's covered by the soft plastic here anyway. Also, pulling it back is also an issue because of that shell. It gets in the way. So, yeah, articulation as a whole, he's got all the major points. I mean, an effort to playmates were putting it in there, but a lot of it is limited or just hindered in some way. So, it's, it's not the best, but I guess the alternative would have been just to have no joint at all. So, I can't really complain too much, I guess. Also, for everyone, you know, all the turtles, all the articulation's the same. The differences are just because of the different size and limbs, sometimes you might get more or less extension out of them. Uh, Mikey's head, for example, I found to be way more emotive than, than any of the other turtles for some reason. And lastly, if you are a turtles purist, you will not like the fact that these guys have all three toes at the front and their own heel now. Uh, yeah, it doesn't bug me. In fact, I like this better, but... Uh, I know those are those are small things that some people might get upset about. Standing at an average height of about 5 inches, the turtles are a healthy size. However, when you consider that these are in the same price bracket as 3 and 3 quarter inch figures, their value suddenly becomes much more apparent. Of course, that leads me into another issue. Well, maybe not exactly an issue, but more of an observation. They're in that special size class that doesn't really scale well with almost anything else. Six inch figures look slightly too large, and then the three and three quarter ones are too small. Funny enough, the only other line of toys that I've found to look awesome with these guys are my only other five inch scale figures, Figmas. Although, I do get the feeling that the amount of people who collect both these toy lines isn't that large. Moving on, let's check out the arsenal these ninjas carry. If you've gotten to know the turtles over the years, then their weaponry shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. All of them have excellent molded detail, can be stored on each turtle, and can be wielded with ease. My only issue is their obvious lack of paint. They don't look cheap by any means, just incomplete. Small touches like silver for Mikey's nunchucks or some white wrapping on Don's bow staff would have really livened things up. However, what these accessories lack in finish, they make up for in sheer abundance. And by that, I'm referring to the plastic sprue tray of weapons that's also included with each figure. They're also not just doubles of the current weapons, but rather additions and variations based on each of the four weapons. For example, one of my favorite inclusions is Dawn's three-section staff. Also, you may have noticed that each turtle has a different set of shurikens. It's a small detail, which is pretty darn neat. 
Whether you're a longtime Turtles fan or a newcomer to the franchise, I think that Playmates rendition of these classic characters are fantastic. They look great, are all unique, and their size and inclusion of a multitude of accessories give these guys great value for money. To me, they embody everything I love about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and these are easily one of my favorite designs of them yet, only being topped by NECA's offerings. One thing I'd like to point out, however, is that at this current moment, these figures are being extremely overhyped, as if they're the next great step in toy engineering. Unfortunately, a revolution they are not. And I'll be honest, I originally skipped out on this line as well when it first hit retail because I didn't expect much out of it. But after watching the cartoon and reading all the hype, I had to see for myself. So, without a doubt, these are good toys, but minimal paint detailing and limited articulation keep them from being great. I should also note that these turtles aren't actually all that screen accurate to the show. They appear to be based more on the original concept sketches and the current IDW designs. Again, I love it, but if you're looking for replicas of the show models, then these might not do it for you. If you're still on the fence, then here's my advice. Pick one up. Your favorite turtle, perhaps, or at least the one who wields your favorite style weapon or has your favorite color. Then, go from there. I'm sure you'll have a definitive conclusion in no time. Anyways, this has been Type V3. Thanks for watching, and I hope this review helped you decide on whether these new turtles are right for you. As for me, I'm off on my skateboard into the darkness of night in search of some fine Italian cuisine. Cowabunga.